there's been a lot of movement on Jimmy's coaching staff. And I want to talk about it in this video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Anwar Youssef Dunbar, and this is Big Discussions 76 Sports. First of all, please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Well, I'm back with yet again another Michigan football video. I know some of you have been asking for uh, some basketball, and I just have to sit down, uh, look at the schedule, and uh, clear some time aside to uh, check out what uh, Jawan Howard's men's uh, basketball team is doing. But in the meantime, I'm back with some more news on Jimmy's staff or Jimbo's staff or old khaki pants' staff. One of the commenters didn't like me calling him Jimmy. But it's my channel, I can do what I want. In any case, there's been a lot of movement on uh, Jimmy's coaching staff uh, since he re-signed uh, with his new controversial contract um, in Ann Arbor. Uh, lots of movement and uh, I just wanted to quickly uh, come on and talk about uh, what some of those moves uh, were. But before I do, uh, I have two player updates. So I didn't realize until a couple of weeks ago that Dylan McCaffrey was still uh, technically enrolled uh, and a part of the program, but it looks like he's entered the transfer portal. So he is going somewhere else. And I'm gonna leave articles for all of this stuff in the description box below. Um, and so that makes me think about what's the deal with uh, Joe Milton uh, it, it sound, if he hasn't entered the transfer portal, that it sounds like that he's going to get a chance to compete for the job again next season, uh, despite uh, this year's meltdown. And once again, I want to thank Super Joe for what he did and that whole thing because he helped Big Discussions 76 Sports double its subscribership. Speaking of which, once again, I'm... Uh, I'm at about 880, and I need 120 more subs to get to the holy number of uh, 1,000. So, Dylan McCaffrey entered the transfer portal. And I wonder if that's the quarterback that should have started for us this year. And I wonder if that's the quarterback that should have started over Shea. Anyway, I've talked about that ad nauseum before. Uh, also, Zach Charbonnet entered the transfer portal, which is interesting because Mike Hart uh, has come on as our running backs coach. So maybe Zach Charbonnet just had enough, even though Mike Hart uh, may have the goods to turn him into a first round NFL draft pick. So that's interesting. So no more Zach Charbonnet. So uh, if we go with last year's lineup, now uh, Hassan Haskins stands to get the majority of the carries uh, along with uh, Blake Corum and no, Chris Evans is gone. And uh, Ben Mason should be gone as well. So we're gonna see a uh, at least a part way new um, running backs stable next year. So let's talk about the coaches. So we know that uh, Dr. Defense, Don Brown, got fired. And it turns out that uh, Jim has hired Mike McDonald uh, and from the Baltimore Ravens and also Maurice Linguist from the Dallas Cowboys. So he, he plucked two coaches from the NFL uh, who are younger guys. Uh, we know that Mike Hart has come back to Ann Arbor to coach the running backs. Uh, Ed Warner is not coming back. And I liked Ed Warner as our offensive line coach. They didn't have a, a really good year this year, but the whole team didn't have a good year this year. So we're, we're losing our old grizzled veteran offensive line coach, Ed Warner. Hmm. Replacing him is uh, Sharon Moore, who's also moving up to be the co-offensive coordinator and offensive line coach. All right, so the offensive side is being shaken up a little bit. Uh, Ronald Bellamy, I was excited to see that Ronald Bellamy's coming back. Ronald Bellamy, just like Mike Hart, 
was a, a player under Lloyd Carr, a, a wide receiver. He didn't go on to become one of the alpha wide receivers like Braylon Edwards or David Terrell, but Ronald Bellamy, he was a fast guy. And he did get drafted into the NFL. I think he played a little bit uh, for the Lions, but he recently settled uh, as a, um, or I don't want to say settled, but he recently has been coaching at uh, West Bloomfield High School uh, right there in Michigan. And I think they might have won the state championship. Either way, it's another player coming back uh, from the Lloyd Carr tenure when the program was competitive and regularly sending players to the NFL and uh, despite those Jim Trestle, Troy Smith, Ohio State teams, uh, those were uh, Michigan football teams that were always in contention for the Big Ten title. So in summary, it looks like Jim is going younger. These are all younger guys, significantly younger guys than Don Brown and Ed Warner and uh, those those types. So Jim is going younger. This might have something to do with um, recruiting. This might have something to do with wanting to revitalize the image of the program. And it, 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 this might just be a philosophy thing, trying to get more uh, in tune with the new uh, methodologies and scheming and ways of doing things. So I don't know. But for this next chapter of the Jim Harbaugh tenure, for however much longer it's going to be, uh, we're going to have a much younger coaching staff. Now, I'm going to go back to what I said a couple of uh, videos ago. The question is a couple things. The culture. Will these young guys be able to help infuse and create a better culture than the one that uh, led to Joe Milton's meltdown this year. Um, you would think so with Mike Hart coming back and Ronald Bellamy coming back. They can at least coach the players up and say what it was like to uh, be in the program when it, uh, it wasn't a doormat. Uh, Ronald Bellamy was on a team that beat Ohio State. So, but the culture is going to be important. That's the key thing. Also the recruiting. Uh, Buckeye Alex has reminded us numerous times here that Ohio State is years and years ahead of every other Big Ten team. So however much longer Jim is going to stay, he's got to get competitive players in there. Uh, you know, we know that Ohio State, they're recruiting nationally. We know that they've been winning for years and years and years. We know that they're the bully on the block but you're gonna need a team that's willing to fight and you're gonna need a team that's gonna be able to play above itself. You're gonna need a team that's not gonna fold at the first hint of adversity. So I like the fact that Jim is going younger. I like these hires, especially the returning Michigan players, now coaches, but it's gonna come down to the culture and it's gonna come down to what kinds of players can they get in there now? And can they get them to stay and develop and coalesce? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, please like this video, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. If you want to leave something in the tip jar, that information is below this video. As always, go blue. And remember that your attitude determines your altitude. Take care, and I'll talk to you the next time. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. There's one more thing that I want to add on to this. For the sake of completeness, I am a bit of a stickler for details. So uh, another addition to Jimbo's new coaching staff is George Hilo. He is coming on as um, our new safeties coach. So I just wanted to add that in. Uh, I didn't want to leave him out of the party here. So George Hilo is also coming on um, as a new addition to Jim's coaching staff, and he's going to coach the safeties. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.